You're listening to Mastering the Task Exam with me, Mr. Abe Tasconi. Today's task science lesson is Earth Structures. Today's test tip for the task exam is simple. Don't use just one source when learning about a subject. Utilize the power of good old YouTube to find short videos about the topic you're studying. So today we're going to talk about candy and plates. Well, sort of. Earth is like an everlasting gobstopper. You know that candy that's hard as a rock and takes forever to get down to the center of its goodness? You see, the Earth and an everlasting gobstopper are similar in the fact that they each have four layers. In regards to the Earth's four layers, there's the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. The first layer is the crust. We live on top of this layer. Underneath the crust lies the mantle, which is mostly solid rock, but over long periods of time it behaves like a thick fluid. Underneath the mantle lies the outer core, which is mostly liquid iron. And finally we have the inner core, which is solid iron and a little bit of nickel thrown in for good measure. Now the Earth's crust and the upper part of the mantle are broken into sections, called tectonic plates. These plates move around on top of the Earth's mantle like a raft, floating in water. There are seven major plates and numerous smaller plates. To understand what tectonic plates do, we probably should travel back in time. You see, the Earth looked a lot different than it does today. Millions of years ago, the Earth consisted of one large landmass called Pangaea. At some point in time, there was a great rift that caused Pangaea to break apart. Slowly over time, the movement of tectonic plates shifted all of the large land masses, which are known as continents, into their current position that we see today. This movement of continents is known as continental drift. Within all these plates, there are three types of plate boundaries. The first type is constructive plate boundaries, also known as divergent plate boundaries. This type of boundary occurs when two plates move apart. New ocean floor is constructed from hot magma, which is melted rock that rises deep from inside the earth. This melted rock cools and begins to fill in the gap from the spreading ocean floor. Over time, the melted rock has the potential to form volcanoes. The second type is destructive plate boundaries. Destructive plate boundaries destroy ocean floor when one tectonic plate moves underneath and pushes up on another tectonic plate. Just like constructive plate boundaries, destructive plate boundaries also have the ability to form volcanoes. All of the mountains that we see today were formed over long periods of time by destructive plate boundaries. Destructive plate boundaries also create deep trenches at the bottom of the ocean. The third type is conservative plate boundaries. In a conservative plate boundary, two tectonic plates slide gently side by side. Ocean floor is neither made nor destroyed. So all three type of plate boundaries involve some type of movement between two tectonic plates. Sometimes friction from the movement between two tectonic plates causes the plates to lock together and they become unable to move. 
Once the plates lock together, the pressure continues to build from the two stuck plates. When the plates are finally released from their stuck position, waves of energy are released and earthquakes occur. Wait a minute. Do I feel shaking? Could it be an earthquake? Nope. It's just the movement of everyone taking another step towards passing the task exam. All right, friends, you know the drill. Go back and review this video so you feel comfortable with the information that was presented today. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the link in the description box to take my Quizlet on today's lesson. I sure hope you know how truly brilliant you are. Stay safe, friends, and keep on studying. I'd like to thank Chris Matthews for providing the music for this program, to Valerie Jeffers for co-producing, to Marion University and the Blue Umbrella for making this series possible, and to all the teachers, townships, and adult basic education programs who help inspire adult learners reach for the stars. Mr. Abe Tasconi is the alter ego of me, David Taylor. If you have any questions about the task exam or if you'd like to try some of my quizzes, please email me at tasktestquestions at gmail.com. This has been a Jefferson Taylor production. See you next time.